thirsty, um, like, okay, moisture search is thirsty. I don't, eyes are itching like a bitch. Okay, okay two more things and we're done. Um, Sephora has, the fuck up. I don't know how to explain it. I discovered this because I bought it. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I think I just need to buy a big ass bottle of it instead of just drenching myself in the rollerball. Sorry. <laughs> it wasn't appropriate. Um, falling creams everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. It is January. So 2017 is here. It's, yeah, I'm so freaking excited. Anyways, so that means that it's the end of the month for December and I have some favorites for you. So let's just roll it. Roll them. Roll them. I have um, a few favorites this month that are falling in the uh, foundation face category. I have also a very itchy nose. Yes. I'm gonna try to like go in order, but I'm also gonna go fast because homie got 16% battery on her camera. I know, I know, I know. Okay, first, skincare. I have been loving a couple of things from Clinique. The Moisture Surge uh, cream is one of my favorite creams of all time. And I have been like drinking it up for the winter. The Moisture Surge is a very strange consistency. I can't quite describe. It says extended thirst relief. So it's a gel based cream. It is amazing and it is very, very moisturizing for my skin, especially in the winter months when I really need the extra, the extra, extra. The, so that helps a lot. The Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray is also another one that I've been loving. I've been spraying this on my face all day, every day. I, ugh, this is great and it's very moisturizing and it's in a spray. Huh. So it gives me a little bit of something extra that I need before I do my skincare so I don't look like a crocodile. Because I will look like a crocodile. Okay, next. The Pepstart Eye Cream. Um, I get really bad dry, like, under eye area. And then when I try to put, like, <sighs> concealer on, I look like a snake. Under my eye. It's not pretty. It's, like, crepey and old looking and, like, not youthful. I don't like it. So this helps a lot if you put this on first and then you put your concealer over it. Um, the reason why I like the Pepstart Eye Cream is because it's really good underneath makeup, which is usually when I need eye creams. I mean, I put stuff on to sleep, but when I um, I sleep with a different uh, different one on. So, but that one is great for under makeup, which I love. Next up, this combo has been like a winning combo for me. LC Cosmetics. I got the dry oil, uh, glow enhancing dry face oil, and then the Pearl Radiance Primer, and their foundation. This trio, even if like I just use the foundation and the primer by itself, or if I just even mix this in with our other foundations that I have, these items are amazing. I cannot even, I can't stress enough how much I like them. These are so worth the YouTube hype. I cannot explain to you. They're so amazing. They're so freaking amazing. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. LC Cosmetics. I love you. I love you. I have been using these for a very long time. I don't even know if I've really talked to you too much about them, but they are the treat lip balms. I have them in sugar cookie. I have them in confetti cake. I have them in hot cocoa. I have another one in my purse that's marshmallow. They're just really nice organic shea butter coconut oil, like enriched with like just good old down home on the farm moisturizing products. There's nothing crazy in here. They don't test on animals. I mean, I really love them. They're huge, so you can put it anywhere. I mean, I use it on my cuticles, my elbows, my, all over my lips. 
and um, these were a lifesaver this month because I redid my lip injections and when I do them my lips get like really 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 dry and I don't trust a lot of stuff on there especially because I just had like injections put in and there's you know holes in my lips and you never you never know I just you never know like if something gets in there I don't want to talk about I don't know I don't even want to think about it and my lips fall out they turn black I don't know I don't want to talk about it we're not going there we're not going there. street lip balms are amazing and they they do the trick it soothes your dry chapped lips with pure organic coconut oil I think there's shea butter in here too but they're awesome so bomb.com bomb.com I of course am obsessed with you know, the uh, liquid lip, like the matte liquid lips. That's usually all I ever wear now for like probably the last year. Um, I haven't worn lipstick because I just don't see a point because it moves and then you kiss somebody and it gets all over them. I just, I'm not a fan. I know it'll go away eventually and I'll want to go back to the lipsticks because I have a ton of like MAC lipsticks that I really like, like Ruby Woo. And I just can't stand the fact that they move around though. So anyways, but this guy totally pulled me away from the liquid lipsticks this month. Um, this was a later in the month purchase and I have been wearing this nonstop almost every day since I got it and um, also since I got my lip injections I'm getting, I've got some like bruising going on right now and this gloss is dark enough to where it'll kind of hide. It's not like fully opaque so um, it kind of hides the bruises a little bit, but it also is opaque enough where your natural color of your lips will still come through. I am not a fan of uh, those lip glosses that are like so opaque and rich of color that you can I mean, you can't even tell your lips are underneath it. I don't like that shit. I just, if a, a lip gloss is meant to be a lip gloss, you know what I'm saying? Gloss. Two faced sweet peach. Look at this little guy. Look at him. Look at his little eyeballs. He's adorable. These little uh, sweet peach guys are all over there. Sweet peach stuff. And this is the Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Peach Sickle. I almost said Peach Slice. <laughs> they are very heavily scented of peach. Like candy peach. It smells like candy. Like peach candy. Like those peach candies. But this is very heavily scented of peach, so if you don't like the way that peach smells, you may not like this lip gloss, but if you don't mind the smell of peach, you're going to love this. I love these. I am obsessed. I want to get every color now, but I love the color because it comes off like almost pink. That's what I have on right now. Do you like it? I love it. I'm obsessed. So he's going with me in my puss. Another thing that I've been really liking is the Ciate Wonderland Mascara. This was also a, well no, this wasn't a late find because I found this when I started doing um, my holiday lookbooks. So it would have been like end of November, beginning of December. Um, and this mascara is so bomb. It's the Ciate Wonderland Mascara. I don't know why no one is talking about this. Why isn't anyone talking about this? I'm, I'm amazed. It's so good. It lengthens, it separates, it, it volumizes. It literally does everything possible. And like the more coats you put on, the better it gets. I can't even explain this to you. Ciate Wonderland, just go buy it. You are not gonna be sorry. Trust me, just trust me on this one, girl. Boy, whoever's watching right now, this is gonna change your lashes, I'm telling you. Seriously, I'm telling you. You can thank me later, really. Next up, the Tory Burch uh, Rollerball. I also discovered, rediscovered this because um, I buy these every year because I love the scent. And I, it's the um, Eau de Parfum Rollerball. And this is for the a limited edition package for the uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign through Estee Lauder. It's just so fresh. It's like fresh, clean, citrus, clean, I don't know. It just smells so good. So good. And I rediscovered this, so I went through a whole bottle of it in a month. And then I went out and I bought this one uh, to keep. Hopefully I don't go through that bottle in January. <laughs> Just saying. My these are the Flutter Lashes. I got these in a Beautycon box. And if you guys are interested in seeing an unboxing of that, let me know because I'll unbox them. I got the Beautycon boxes. They're $39. 
like ev for every season. So there's four a year. And I got this in, not this past one, I think it was the one before that. But these are flutter lashes. I've never tried them before. I love them. Uh, my eyes are huge, okay? I have gigantic eyeballs and my lashes really never look like a full set like of lashes. They always kind of look like half lashes because my eye is too big for the lashes like even the house of lashes ones don't cover my whole eye these do these are the flutter lashes and these are in the makeup by shayla limited edition urshats i don't know but they're what i have on right now and this is the box that they come in but i never tried flutter lashes before and now i'm obsessed i'm about to go buy up the whole kit and caboodle of flutter lashes i'm sure that you know, the different styles are probably like different sizes and stuff, but I'm talking about like the band is like the whole length of my eye. Right? Right? Aren't they bomb? Can't get enough. They're so gorgeous. I love them. And I have used these a few times. Like this is not the first time I've used them. This is probably going to be the last time though, because they're getting all wonky unless I can figure out a way to clean them and like get all the glue off. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of these after this time around this go this go getter um, but I love these lashes I can't even I love them the next thing that I got and I really liked is the sweet peach glow palette this is the peach infused highlight palette and it comes with a highlight shade um, I think this one is like a blush shade and then this is like a contour type shade that you can use to like bronze up the face But I like this. Um, I am wearing this on my face today I'm wearing the highlight on my face today. I didn't use the other two today, which I should have because I did like a monochromatic peach look um, But this palette is really nice. I was not expecting it to be as nice as it is and of course it smells like peach, like the sweet peach eyeshadow palette. So I got this from HSN, it was on FlexPay, and uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. Look at his little face. Look at him. He's so cute. I love this. Another thing that I've been liking that is peach. Now let me show you. Um, Melanie Mills makes Gleam Body Radiance. She makes the Gleam Mineral Highlights. Um, they're all amazing. This is Peach Deluxe. This is the one that um, the blogger Sandra, I don't even know how to say her name, but she fly. But she made this um, in collaboration with Melanie Mills Hollywood. And it is a peach colored body radiance. I'm going to do a full um, review of these on the, my channel and I'm going to show you guys swatches and everything. But I really do like the peach one by Sandra. Um, it's amazing. You can use this, you can mix it in with your foundation and make it a luminous foundation. You can mix it in with a body cream and use it all over your body. You can use put it on straight over your body. You don't have to mix with anything. The possibilities are endless with Melanie Mills Hollywood. And um, this is a lot of uh, makeup artist secrets right here in this little tube, so I'll show you guys everything in that article, but I'm obsessed with the Gleam Body Radiance, really, in all colors, but the peach one has been a, um, a definite treat. I like it a lot. The peach is beautiful. The color infusion is gorgeous. Next up, we have these. These are from Sephora. These are the Ultra Hydrating, Moisturizing, and Brightening Rose Scented Cleansing Cloths. So these smell like rose. Um, they're an, uh, in a flip top little compartment here where you can peel back this. This is one of my favorite cleansing wipes aside from the Clinique ones. These are amazing and they smell phenomenal. I cannot get enough. I can't get enough. These smell awesome. I love them. I love them. I love them. They also feel really moisturizing on the skin and um, I don't feel like they're like taking all of the natural oils on my face, which I can't stand in a makeup wipe. So last but certainly not least is this foundation from Lancome. I purchased this on HSN Dutcom and this is the Lancome Miracle Foundation. It's the sunscreen broad spectrum lit from within natural skin perfection SPF 15. 
so here it is in all its glory. I am in the cover um, Ivory 140N. So um, I used my color matching from Sephora.com and then I ordered it at HSN because HSN had a better deal on it with like the flex paste plus I have a charge and whatever. It's just a lot easier for me. So I ordered it and it, I um, was kind of concerned about this due to the color when it first came out. Um, but it looks great on the skin I have on right now. It's not too light for me and I thought it was going to be too light for me. So... I am loving this foundation. That's all I've got to show you here. So thank you so much for tuning in. I am so excited for 2017 and what this year has to bring. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you again. I can't thank you guys enough. I love you. Have a wonderful year up ahead. Be safe. If you had a bad 2016, then... Um, I hope 2017 is um, much better to you. If you had a wonderful 2016, then I hope that you have the same luck in 2017. And I look forward to another year of you guys and me together. Thanks, guys. Bye.